Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we're going to show you how we're going to install our Toppen's swing gate opener on solar power. Before we're going to install all the equipment, we first going to check if we have all the items to install the swing gate opener. In our case, we checked it, everything is there, the batteries, solar panels, everything is there so we can uh, start installing. Now that we know that all the parts are there, we can start installing the gate opener. You can do this job by yourself, but it's always better or advisable to have an extra pair of hands. And I remember that my uh, brother told me several times, whenever you need me, please give me a call and I'll be there. So I took his word, I called him and what do you think? He took the next flight, 16 hour flight and he's here now to help me out. So let me introduce you to my brother who's going to help me with this uh, job. Hi guys. <laughs> we assembled the bracket, the pivot point for the arm. And this one we put on the end of the actuator. And this point goes into the wall. And on the other side, we have another bracket which will be connected to the gate. After the installation of the brackets, we insert uh, the key and turn 90 degrees so we can adjust the whole assembly. And now you can connect the actuator to the gate make it level and then we draw into the column so we can put some dyna bolts in and now you can see why you need an extra pair of hands it's always better First, we drilled a little hole and now we go with a 12 millimeter hole. After the holes are drilled, we can put the dyna bolts in to connect the bracket of the arm. It is easier now to get the bracket off the arm to get it back on the wall. After we remove the bracket from the arm, we install the arm over the dyna bolts and we tighten the bolts until the bracket is completely secured. After we put the pivot bracket on, we can uh, install the arm actuator. Open the gate in the full open position and place the arm of the actuator completely in. And that's the end stop for full open. Normally if you have a wooden gate it's very easy to screw in the last bracket on the end of the arm but we have a metal gate, so we're gonna weld it on. We installed both actuator arms and here in the middle we have an extra lock and now it's time for
for the next step and the next step is to install the control box. I just checked all the connections. We do the lock on number 10 and 11. Click it in. The main gate, number one, is the closest to the control panel. It's the first. And then we go on the second actuator, the far away. On the second one, we close everything. Uh, the battery goes out later on. So everything is connected. Now we have to connect the batteries. We determine the post for the to connect the solar panels for the right position. Okay. Now that we installed the solar panels going to connect the solar panel to the solar charging controller and to the control box. But before you connect the solar panel to the charging controller, you have to make sure that you charge first the batteries on before you put on before you put on the leads of the solar panels. To program the remote, you have to press the code switch, release it, light goes on. Within four seconds, you have to press the remote and you saw it already. After three seconds, it goes off with flashing. And now the remote is programmed. Now we're going to adjust the close position and we have to turn the actuator because on the bottom there it is we have an adjustment screw and we can adjust the close position for the fine adjustment we use this screw now we're going to check if all the fine adjustments are uh, correct and they close properly And they close very, very nice. Now we have to turn the actuators back. Now we turn over the actuator again because all the adjustments are good now. To get an open delay and a closed delay between the master and the slave uh, gate, you can turn these potentiometers and you can change it between one and nine seconds. After a hard day work, we have to test the gate. If we can go in properly and it looks like everything is working. We have done a good job. But we have to wait, of course, that it's completely open. And now we can go in. Yeah, I love it. The gate is closing, the remote is working. We did a very, very good job. And therefore, I want to thank especially my brother for helping me with this project. I hope you like this video and see you on the next one. Bye bye.